Money, money, money. Okay, so you may be thinking of becoming a data scientist and you've been looking around at the average wages and they are looking pretty tasty. But maybe all the wages you've seen are for American based roles and you're wondering how much we get paid here in the land of tea and crumpets. So by the end of this video, I'll be telling you the average data scientist salary for a beginner, somebody with kind of two to four years experience, a senior level data scientist with seven years plus, and because some of you are nosy, even revealing how much I get paid and why it's nowhere close to what you'd expect. Okay, so so that you have a general reference, the minimum wage in the UK if you're over 25 is just under £10 an hour. So if you're working that full time, and let's say that's 35 to 40 hours a week, do some quick maths, that comes up in the region of £19,000 would be about minimum. And apparently, according to a Google search, the average wage is £31,000. That seems a little bit high from what I've heard in general. So I dug around a little deeper, and this is obviously heavily influenced by those few high earners. So maybe a more accurate representation is the median, which is around £26,000. So actually, my internship is about to end, and I don't know yet whether they're going to keep me on. So I'm about to apply for new jobs so we can find out what kind of salaries are banging about together. So that's what we're going to do. Check for salaries on LinkedIn, also look at some average stats, and also have my anecdotal expectations for each level as a data scientist. Okay, let's look into it. Okay, so we are on LinkedIn, Indeed, and Glassdoor now. Let's just scroll through a couple of jobs. Like I just said, I'm gonna be applying for jobs soon, so maybe this is this actually helps me because this is what I can expect. So here we have junior data scientist in Yeovil, 30 to 38, seems about right. If you get around 38, that's definitely towards the high end for a, a junior data scientist, but that's pretty good. They chose not to give their name, well-known retailer, so that's why they can probably afford a little bit more. Then we have Franklin Bates, See, so 40 to 50K, that's definitely on the high end. Um, eight months experience, that's basically a fresher. Yeah, 40 to 50K, and that would be a bit higher because this, from what I can see, FinTech tends to pay a little bit higher. Um, so things like banking, FinTech, and tech in general tend to pay a little bit higher. And then, as you can see, it's in London. So that 40K doesn't take you as far. So let's say, if you lived up north, that 40K K is like 32, somewhere else. Okay, right, okay, so this one seems fairly realistic. 28 to 38K for methods, business, and digital technology. Uh, that's what you could expect, let's see. So you don't even, they don't mention experience, I guess. Okay, desirable experience. But I guess that could be from your degree. Here we go, Leicester, remote, 30 to 40. Ooh, might apply for this one. 40K remote, I'll take that. Okay, so those are just a few of the jobs on offer. So you can see that's kind of the range on what I call the big three job hiring websites, which is LinkedIn, Indeed, and Glassdoor. And when I looked online, they were saying the average for a junior slash graduate data scientist was 40K. To me, that seems a little bit on the high end, unless you're in London. And even in London, that would be slightly on the high end, but still about average. But what I did find is this website, prospects.ac.uk, and they seem to be giving me the most true-to-life average from my experience, which is between 25 and 40. And that 40 would be more of London jobs. I'll say between 25 to 35 is dead average, dead average pay for a beginner. And I'll bring up my experience that kind of lines up with what my colleagues on my master's class were hoping for. Most people saw 30K as that kind of golden number, the minimum they would accept uh, straight after graduating. And that's with a master's in data science and AI, but it was a conversion master's. So they'll probably have zero years experience in data science. So that's kind of what you can expect. That lines up with me as well, because after this internship, the minimum I would want is 30K. And that really is the minimum because I, mean, I will have a year experience with a proven track record, so I'll be hoping something close to 35, but yeah. Now let's move on to a more seasoned data scientist. Here we're looking at kind of the two to five year region. Okay, so now we're cooking with a little bit more gas. So here we have Metrica recruitment, over 18 months, months, years, great copy there, over 18 months of experience, 
in blah, 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 basically 18 months as a data scientist, 40 to 50K seems about right. This is Metrica again, R in Python. Again, that sort of two to five years experience, maybe even a little bit less, 35 to 40K. Warrington up north. So this, this one is 30 to 40K. That will take you a lot further than let's say in London. So if you got 40K in, in Warrington, that would be pretty good. Whether you want to live in <laughs> Warrington, that's a different story. So here you, they just say experience. So I'm guessing sometimes with even a year experience, if you're that good, you can get away with it, but let's just call it two years minimum. Okay, here we go. We do data, a data specific company in Luton. Good, good location. Cause that's just outside London. Essential skills, experience, they don't say how much, but that kind of two to five years should really be plenty. If they just say experience and you have like two, three, four years, you're fine. Unless they specifically say we want like eight years. So in brief, when you've been in there two to five years, we're kind of cooking now. We're, we're getting up towards 40K as an average. And to be honest, let's say I had two to five years of experience, minimum 40K, I would be hoping for minimum, minimum, minimum 40K hoping for maybe 38 on the low end, but really hoping for 40 K. But one thing I will say, it is easy to get excited about these numbers, but also take a brief look here. This one, one week ago, 181 applicants. This one was ridiculous. Nine minutes ago, 94 applicants. Yeah. So there's a decent amount of competition, but I did look it up and Apparently that's kind of average for every job posting about 250 applications, about 10 interviews, and then one person gets the job. So it's the average level of competition. And don't get too scared by those big numbers because that also includes people who applied when they were underqualified or they weren't being that serious or they didn't even really want that job, but they just applied. And I think on LinkedIn, even if you don't finish the application, it counts you as an applicant. So don't, don't get too scared off by the numbers. But there is a lot of competition, but don't get scared off. <laughs> so again, looking at our friends on prospects, they say with a few years experience, let's say two to four, between 40 and 60K, which seems about right. I would be happy with 40 to 60 with a few years experience. Lastly, onto the big boy money, senior data scientist, which is the official term, not big boy data scientist. Okay, so UCAS, Gloucestershire, good location. 55k a year, pretty good on the low end for a senior data scientist, definitely. Hayes recruitment, 50 to 70, sounds bang on. 50 to 70, that's the right range. Obviously, you always hope to get the one towards the higher end. Senior data scientists in Bristol, 40 to 50k, definitely on the low end. Metrical recruitment, so when, when I say senior, I mean like probably seven years experience plus. Or if you have a PhD, that kind of pushes you up for a lot of these jobs. 80 to 90, that's a good, good salary for a senior data scientist. So that's the sort of level you can expect. And our friends at Prospects kind of agree. They say lead and chief data scientist can earn upwards of 60K. And that is accurate, just saying upwards of, because it can really go up to a lot. It can go just over 100 Six figure salaries in the UK are a lot rarer than in the US. Um, so don't be expecting every job to be like 100K. So what am I currently getting paid then? Not much, not much at all. <laughs> well, when I started my internship, I was getting paid 20K a year, which as you saw is just above minimum wage. But I recently did get a raise to 20,500 pounds. So, you know, a 2.5% raise to battle 10% inflation. So essentially on a scale for data scientists, if you had a higher than average salary to a lower than average salary, my current salary is like as far towards this side as you can. You would struggle to find any role for a data scientist that would pay less than what I'm on at the moment. But guess what? I don't mind. So why am I happy to take this lower wage right now? Well, firstly, it's because it's an internship. It's part of my degree. I have to complete this year in industry in order to graduate. So the money is not a priority right now. Also, because I had to secure this internship in a certain amount of time, I didn't have time to look for the perfect paying job. I took an interesting job that came up.
Also, I had zero years experience as a data scientist before this. So just the opportunity to learn on the job whilst getting paid something was so good. And I'm telling you, the amount I've learned in this internship is probably more than I learned during my degree. It's weird. During self-taught, I learned a little bit, but what I learned in my degree was so much more. Now what I've learned in this internship is so much more than that. And because it's a startup environment, I get to learn data engineering, data analysis, data science -y stuff, even presentation stuff, like BI stuff in Tableau and Power BI. But if you're still watching this video, my internship is coming to an end, and I will be making videos on how I plan to negotiate a much higher salary than what I'm currently on, as well as my job application process and improving my CV. I should already have a video out of how I got a job with a terrible CV up here. But I'm Data Nash, documenting my journey from a newbie data scientist to one day being an elite one. So if you want to join that journey, feel free to hit subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.